everybody, Jeff Cowan here from Jeff Cowan's Pro Talk. You know, the guy that's trained more successful service advisors and service employees than anybody else on the planet. It's a fact. Check it out. Well, I'm back here today with a new edition of my podcast entitled Right Service, Write Your Own Paycheck, the path to making over $100,000 a year when writing service in the automotive industry. And at this very recording, just over 20% of you are doing that. You're making $100,000 a year or more, $150,000, $200,000. That's becoming more commonplace than you'd think. So the 20% that are doing that, congratulations. But that means that nearly 80% of you are not making that kind of money. So what are we going to do about that? What are you going to do about that? I recommend you watch this podcast. I recommend you go back and watch any of the over 100 podcasts I've filmed in the past. I recommend you go to my website, automotiveservicetraining.com. Automotiveservicetraining.com because we, between those two entities alone, you'll find all the techniques, tactics, word tracks, and processes you need to become the absolute best in the business and if you're going to do it you might as well be the absolute best it takes and you know it takes no more time or less time to be the best than it does not to be well we're going to stick with the format we've been on where i'm going to put a a um quote up here and I'm going to break it down for you and show you how you can take this quote and use it to your advantage so that you too can become the best now this one's a simple one it just simply says this one bumpy flight should not keep you off of future flights one bumpy flight should not keep you off of future flights. It's a fact. If you're in business or you're in sales, there's going to be bumps along the way. And this is where I find the weak-minded salesperson or business person make a mistake because they'll get into the position, let's say, for example, being a salesperson and things are going along smooth, everything's happening, and then there'll be one or two bumps, and they bail. And that's not what you want to do because no matter what you do in life, from time to time, there's going to be some bumps and some kinks in the system. So what do you do when on a bumpy flight? Because again, you're going to have them. Well, there's three steps. Number one, don't get out of the seat. Tighten up your seat belt. That's what I do. I mean, there's going to be bumpy flights because here's what happens when you're on a real flight because I've flown millions of miles throughout my career traveling from place to place doing workshops and delivering my training. I've flown millions of miles and I've been on, on plenty of bumpy flights. And you know what causes them? The air has changed. Something has changed. But do the pilots jump out of the seat and let you take over? No. What they do is they know that something's changed in the atmosphere in the air. So what do they do? They find out what's causing that and they search for clean air or smooth air again. Don't jump out. you got to do the, the same thing. You know, there's going to be bumps along the way. And what typically what bumps mean is just like when on a real airplane, something changed in the air. In sales, it could be this. It could be that your product's changed. Maybe you didn't recognize that. So since it's changed, there's a new way to present it. Maybe your customers change in their attitudes and what motivates them to buy. Maybe you change and you're not doing your presentation the way you used to or you're making shortcuts or something along the way. But you have to figure out what the bump is because once you figure out what the bump is, then it's back to smooth selling okay number two practice makes perfect practice makes perfect if you want to have fewer bumpy flights and you want to get rid of all the bumpy flights and turbulence out of your presentations role play and practice you've heard me say this so many times in all the training that we do whether it's online in a workshop or where my my trainers show up at, at, at service drives to do the work we tell you this all the time practice and role play practice and role play practice and role play and here's why I love it I, I mean every sales job I've had all the way up through today at Pro Talk we role play you want to know why because it's practice. We get all the kinks out of the presentations. We get all the bumps out of the way so that when it's real time and when it counts, when you're in front of a customer, it's smooth selling. Everything's as smooth as it, as it can be. So if you want to have more smooth flights, then you got to practice, practice, practice. Now let me share something else with you because again, I really am all about role playing and practice. I do it all of the time to the extent of this. You know, I get invited to, 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 to speak at many, many conventions throughout the year. And there's times I go and I'm the only speaker. There's times I go and there's 10, 15, 20, sometimes 60 or 70 different speakers depending on the size of the convention and what it is. And you know, no matter what convention I've attended, I'm proud to say this, and I apologize if it sounds like I'm bragging. I'm not. I'm just making a point right here. But every convention I've ever, ever spoken at, I've never been ranked lower than the third best one that was there. And I'm usually ranked number one. You want to know why? Because there's no bumps in my presentations. You know how I know that? Because what I do is what most speakers don't do. Most speakers, no matter how many times they've done the presentation, they get cocky and say, you know what? I've done this before. I'll get on stage and we'll work it out. They write up a new speech and they say, you know what? This 
this looks good, I'll get on stage and I'll work it out. And that's foolish. Because what I do is I will fly into town the day before an event and I will practice that presentation, whether it's a brand new one, especially if it's a brand new one, or one that I've done hundreds of times. And I will practice it two times, three times, sometimes eight times. I record it each time and watch the video back. Why? Because I get all the kinks and all the bumps on it, so when I get on stage, it's smooth selling. No, no turbulence. And you know what? I've always thought that way and I've always been happy to do that and look forward to doing that because of this. I figure if somebody's going to call me up or allow me to make a presentation on my product or they call me up and they want me to do a presentation on a stage in front of a bunch of people, those people have given me their time and if they've given me their time, I owe it to them to be the absolute best I can be and the only way I can guarantee and the only way you can guarantee that you're going to be perfect with no bumps is to practice. And the number three, bumpy flights simply mean that you're flying a lot. Okay, because the longer you're in sales and the longer you're out there flying, the more bumpy flights you're going to run into. And what that means is it means that you're trying. It means that you're trying. And you know what? Again, when it comes to bumpy flights, you shouldn't be afraid of them. You should embrace them because the more flights you're on, the faster you're going to get to where you're going and the higher you're going to fly. Hey, this is Jeff Cowan coming to you from Jeff Cowan's Pro Talk. I wanted to remind you that we do all kinds of service training. It's all listed right there. And if you want to give us a call and find out what we can do for you and show you and your team how they can be the best, it's easy. You just dial 1-800-248-2931. 1-800-248-2931 and anybody that picks up that phone can share with you how we can help you and your team. You can also go to AutomotiveServiceTraining.com, AutomotiveServiceTraining.com and get the information there as well. This is Jeff Cowan signing off, wishing you a great day. God bless you and I will be talking to you soon. Take care.